and fire crews will be back out at the Carson National Forest later today, hoping the winds do not kick up. The midnight fire is the newest fire to break out. It was spotted around noon yesterday. It's already burned about 250 acres near Cuesta. Fire officials are warning three campgrounds in the area that may have to evacuate. No structures are being threatened right now. And then crews continue to keep a watchful eye on the Vallecito fire that is burning in southwest Colorado. Fire officials say the blaze is holding steady at 222 acres and is 25% contained. Then the Goblin fire also burning. This one near Durango is holding at 700 acres. Firefighters will be on scene for the next several days monitoring the fire's growth and behavior. And of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on all the fires burning and bring you the very latest both on air and online. Well, those fires plus the chimney fires in the Sandias last weekend have forced rangers on high alert right now. That's not good news moving to what likely could be another dry winter. Firefighters finally have this chimney fire fully contained this after it burned about 20 acres and now rangers have raised the fire danger in the Sandias to high. It is just another reminder of exactly how dry it is out there. Now our fire expert meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke is here with us now. Kristen, fire danger not looking good today, is it? No, it's not. We have red flag warnings in effect because the winds are going to pick up and we have really dry air in place. Here's a look at the red flag warning and you can see that across northeast, east central parts of the state and then even down toward the Guadalupe Mountains and east of the Sacramento Mountains. So this area, that is going to be the focus for the dry weather and the high fire danger. But keep in mind, most of the state is going to see windy conditions today. Here we're going to see 45 mile an hour wind gusts. We may not see that in Albuquerque, but we are going to see strong winds co combined with the dry air. So fire danger is still uh, certainly something to keep in mind. Relative humidity now, we're at 28% in Albuquerque. We've already dropped in Durango 56% and we're anywhere between uh, 30 to 50% across most of the state today. That will continue to drop, especially as things really heat up. It's going to be a really warm one for us and winds are already picking up 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, but again, getting a lot stronger later today. So high fire danger, that's the big story today. Then the cool down, that's the big story for later. I'll have all the details in your full forecast coming up in just a little bit. In other news this morning, police are still looking for the two men who robbed a family dollar store in Albuquerque yesterday and shot a clerk in the leg. They say the men went into the store here on Gibson near San Pedro Southeast and had on hoodies and dark sunglasses. Officers say the robbers tried to get a worker to give them cash when the worker was too slow, shot him in the leg. He'll be okay and neighbors are shocked by what happened, but not surprised. When it's close to home and in a place and probably you knew the person that got shot, then it's really scary. Time to get out the uh, Smith and Wesson. Police do have surveillance video of the robbery, but they are not making it public right now. A Bernalillo County firefighter is in jail, charged with attacking some of his family members and a sheriff's deputy. Investigators say Joseph Armenta hit his adult daughter and his father in the South Valley Saturday. Officials say he then attacked a sheriff's deputy who responded to the domestic dispute. We checked into Armenta's past online and found that he has been arrested on domestic violence charges a number of times since 1989. The fire department says it didn't know about what happened and that firefighters are supposed to tell supervisors if they get arrested. Armenta is on paid suspension. A Navy reservist from Rio Rancho also in jail this morning. Police say Anthony Monteith tried to get an underage girl to have sex with him. Cops say the Navy reservist posted an ad online saying he was looking for a young girl to have sex with. Investigators say an undercover detective pretended to be a 13-year-old girl, set up a meeting with Monteith, and arrested him. This guy was arrested in a similar case earlier this year, but prosecutors ended up dropping that case. The MDC's leaders are admitting they messed up, saying one inmate got a special delivery that wasn't just special, it was illegal too. It takes a while uh, to get this product. So in the interim, uh, the family would deliver uh, an amount so to get him through until the order came in. The head of the MDC there is talking about this man, Joseph Taylor. He's in jail right now and has a medical condition and needs special vitamin milk. Investigators say Taylor's family had been bringing the milk for him for months and guards never checked it. That is until Monday when they say Taylor's cousins brought him those cartons here filled with not milk, but drugs. Now investigators are trying to figure out if Taylor smuggled more drugs into the jail with more of his milk in the past again because guards were not checking the cartons at that time. A total of three women and two inmates all face serious drug charges because of this now. 
We can call it David versus Goliath. Later today, a small store that sells NFL gear right here in Albuquerque and online is hoping to hear back from Facebook about a big lawsuit the store just filed against that social media company. Crystal's NFL shop sells all sorts of football fan stuff from jerseys to blankets and a whole lot more. All of it is licensed by the NFL, but now Crystal's owner says on the store's Facebook page, ads are popping up for unlicensed products. Not only that cut into Crystal's bottom line, but that are also illegal. We decided it was time to take a stand, and so we've taken legal action, and uh, we are going to try and put a stop to these advertisements on Facebook pages. Andy Hageman there says he tried to get in touch with Facebook, but never heard back, so we decided to sue them, hoping this suit goes class action. We also called Facebook yesterday, and like Andy, got no response. And Andy says a lot of those uh, other items that stores are trying to sell are from China, and again, illegal, mm. but a lot cheaper than the ones he sells that are licensed.